And to the whole thing with trust is so, so many of us feel like, okay, we have trouble trusting and that when people often say that they're like, I have trouble trusting. What they tend to mean is I have trouble trusting people and accepting people at face value. Like I used to. And the reality is what we were doing before was never healthy. So it's appropriate to not trust people or take them at face value. It's just, it's a good idea to, you know, take the, to take things slow. And in the book, the Brene Brown book, the Daring Greatly book, she talks about this. She says, you know, trust is like a marble jar. And every time a person proves that they can be trusted, then a little, you know, one, I don't know, I think she's a blue marble drops in. And if a person does something that's untrustworthy, then we take a marble out. And it's all about kind of filling up that marble jar with trust marbles. And then at the top, then, then at that point, then there, you can consider them a friend, right? Or you can consider them like a person to really be in a relationship with. But then she also brought up the really great point is if there's something like egregious that happens that makes you dump that marble jar out, then that's okay too. Because not every event that's a trust breaker is necessarily something that you just remove one marble out of the jar. And I think that's another thing that many of us have been going about kind of, I don't want to say the wrong way, but the hard way is we've kind of been treating all acts the same. So we, it's like we meet a new person and instead of starting off with that empty marble jar being like, I don't know you, I don't know if you're trustworthy. Like you seem like a nice person. You seem pretty grounded and level-headed and you know, like you see what you can get, but time will tell. So we're starting with that empty marble jar. And then let's say you have plans to go kayaking that weekend, you know, and they, and you say, okay, we're going to go at 6 PM and they show up at 6 PM. Okay. They, you can, one marble goes in the jar. They've pro they've proven that they were trustworthy to show up at the time that they said that they would show up. And then you just see what I'm saying. And so like all these different events, like you're getting one marble in one marble in one marble in. And then if something happens, you know, they, you agree to meet at six and they show up at seven Uh, then one marble out. But a one marble out event would not be something that's like abuse, addiction, adultery, you know, um, or like really awful attitude. You know, that for me, those, those would be grounds of like dumping out the marble jar and then being done. So getting, getting clear in your mind of like, what, what's a, (laughs) You know, what are kind of different ways that you're looking at with, with building trust with another person and what are some trust breakers and are you giving, are you assigning all behavior equal weight when perhaps you shouldn't be? Dress to impress says, that's a good idea, Dana. Yes. Time will tell. Yeah. And that's the thing when you realize like you don't have, there's no pressure, like you you know, in this book, the book uh, Boundaries After a Pathological Relationship, she says, you know, none of us are good judges the character. <laughs> like We all think that we are, but nobody is because we don't know. Uh, people can put on, on such a good front, but time will tell. And, you know, the reality too is the wolves and wolves clothing, we can tend to spot those people pretty quickly, but the wolves and sheep's clothing take longer. And so we might be a good judge of character in the sense that it's um, you might get that vibe of this is not, you know a dangerous or destructive person. It's difficult to get like you might get a false positive. Like they might come across as really charming and you know sincere, and they're not but it's very difficult to get a false negative. So like, if you do get that vibe that this person's dangerous or destructive, just go with that vibe. Like I just, I wouldn't give a person a second chance with that kind of stuff. Okay. Oh, and here's the thing too. So with trust, so we might be doing this whole marble jar thing with building trust, right? The, I think what really helps to re 
instill that trust is realizing that you can trust yourself, that you can trust yourself. Like we don't need other people. Like other people are going to act how they're going to act. We have no control over that. All we have control over is how we respond to that. So, you know, we can trust ourselves to walk away from a situation. Whereas before we, we got dragged through hell because it was like, we didn't know we could walk away. We didn't feel right walking away. We thought that everybody was like us. We thought if we could just get through to them, that things would be different. We had all sorts of kind of incorrect assumptions about what was going on because you're a normal, decent person, normal, decent person. This kind of stuff is not even on their radar of possibility. So how would you have known, you know, like you wouldn't have, you have to, I really feel like people just have to kind of go through this stuff in order to fully understand it. Cause it's one thing to read about it or to learn about it. It's another thing to actually live it. So now that you're aware of how much damage another person can do in your life and that communication doesn't solve everything and that our love can't fix other people, then you're going to be a lot more inclined to be like, you know what? I really value my peace in my life. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to ever let anybody impact me that way again. And so I can, I might trust them or I might not trust them, but I definitely trust myself to know when a situation is not right for me and for me to walk away from it. And the more you can trust yourself, the easier it's going to be for you to be comfortable around others because you're not holding your breath, hoping that they're going to treat you okay. Because they're going to treat you how they're going to treat you and you're going to respond accordingly. You, you got this. Like you, you, you guys know, you know what's up, you know, you've learned a lot by going through all this stuff. <laughs>